Hello everyone. Welcome back to Chemical Engineering and Test Fund channel. As you know, these days we are focusing on the module of Chemical Reaction Engineering. So in this regard, we are bringing the lecture number 32 for our valuable viewers. So in today's lecture, we will see what are the micro reactors and how we can design a micro reactor from the chapter number 6 isothermal design moles and molar flow rates to chapter 5 which is again part of building block number 4 and chapter 6 which are part of building block they differentiate in a mode that 5 was based on the conversion while 6 is based on the moles and molar flow rates so what are the micro reactors these have emerged as a useful technology in the field of chemical reaction engineering and these are characterized by high surface area to volume ratios in their microstructural regions which contains tubes or channels due to this high surface area to volume ratio it reduces or even eliminates heat and mass transfer resistances which we can often be found during the large reactors accordingly what are its advantages that surface catalyzed reactions can be greatly facilitated Hot spots which usually generate in exothermic reactions can be minimized or in some cases or many cases this exothermic reactions can be carried out virtually as isothermally you see isothermal means that the temperature will remain the constant these can also be used for the production of specialty chemicals and chemical screening lab on a chip and chemical sensor so these are the different advantages for micro reactors once we are modeling the micro reactors, we can either consider it as a plug flow reactor and the mole balance for the plug flow reactor. We have seen it numerous times that DFA over DV is equal to RA or in a laminar flow, but that is the part of our chapter number 17. And once we would move to that chapter, we will study it in detail. So, this is the overall representation or description or introduction of micro reactors. Now, moving to the example. Example number 6.1, which states that the gas phase reaction 2 moles of NOCl goes to 2 moles of NO plus 1 mole of Cl2, or we can say 2A goes to 2B plus 1C, is carried out at 425 degrees centigrade and 16.2 atm. Pure feed is to be fed, and the reaction follows an elementary rate law. It is desired to produce 20 tons of NO per year in a micro reactor using a bank of 10 micro reactors in parallel. So, we are using multiple reactors in parallel. Each micro reactor has 100 channels with each channel 0.2 mm square and 250 mm in length. These tasks will be divided into two parts. One part is the simple manual calculations, another part is a polymath. So, polymath one will be solved in the next lecture while the manual part is solving here. Plot and analyze the molar flow rates as a function of volume down the length of reactor. The volume of each channel is 10 raised to the power minus 5 cubic decimeter. Number one. Number two, what is the reactor volume necessary to achieve 85% conversion? And the additional information which has been given to us that to produce 20 tons per year of NO at 85% conversion, we would require a feed rate of 0 0.0226 mole per second or 2.26 integrated per minus 5 mole per second per channel and the rate constant value is 0.29 cubic decimeter per mole per second at 500 kelvin with activation energy as 24 kilocalories per mole so this is the overall problem description which has been given to us now for one channel we say that the feed flow rate initial feed flow rate is 22.6 and accordingly the final flow rate is 19.2 micromole per second with conversion as 85 percent and we want to know the volume so applying the chemistry that 2 naocl goes to 2 no plus cl2 nocl is represented by a no by b and cl2 by c so 2 moles of a goes to 2 moles of b plus c or if we divide this equation by 2 to make the stoichiometric coefficient of limiting reactant as 1 we say a goes to b plus 1 by 2 C. So, first we will apply the mole balance, which is algorithm which we have studied in our previous lecture, which was lecture number 31. Mole balance on species A, B, and C. DFA over DV is equal to RA. DFB over DV is equal to RB. And DFC over DV is equal to RC. We are considering it like a plug flow, so the same mole balance equation will be applied on 
these three species. Next, using the concept of weights, weight law is minus RA is equal to KCA square because it is an elementary weight law. So we are considering it. And then applying the relative rate principle, RA over its psychometric coefficient, which is minus 1, is equal to RB over its psychometric coefficient, which is 1, is equal to RC over its psychometric coefficient, which is 1 by 2. So once we combine these two, RA and RB, we get RB is equal to minus RA. And once we combine RC and RA, we get RC is equal to minus 1 by 2 into RA. This is the concept from our previous chapters and chapter number 1 and chapter number 3 as well. Then applying the stoichiometry concept, we say that for gas phase having no pressure drop and we are assuming that it's an isothermal system. So V is equal to V0, P0 over P, T over T0, FT over Ft0. This is the total equation. And if you remember, we had said V0 into 1 plus epsilon x because this part, this flow rate was 1 plus epsilon x in chapter number 5. But now here, since this chapter is in terms of moles and molar flow rate, so we will be using the flow rate terms over here. So this T over T0 will be gone and P over P0 will be gone. So we are left with V is equal to V0 Ft over Ft0. This V is the volumetric flow rate at the exit of the reactor. This is at the inlet of the reactor. The total flow rate at the outlet and the total flow rate at the inlet of the reactor. Accordingly, C of J is equal to C T0, F of J over F T, P over P0, T0 over T, which goes to for species A. Since P over P0 and T0 over T terms are gone, so we get C of A, J is replaced by A. C of A is equal to C T0, F of A over F T. For B, C B is equal to C T0, F of B over F of T. For C, C of C is equal to C T0, F of C over F of T. So in this way, the concentration terms can be generated for all the species. And finally, the total flow rate is F of A plus F of B plus F of C. Then we have to combine all these concepts. So minus R is equal to K C A square. So C A is replaced by C T0, F of A over F of T. But since it is C A square, so C T0 square and F A over F T whole square. Then D F A over D V is equal to R A. Minus R A is equal to this, so R A will be negative of this. So this is substituted here. D F A over D V is equal to minus K C T naught square F A over F T whole square. For B, D F A over D V is equal to since B is product. So R B, R B is equal to minus R A as we have seen in previous slide. So K C T naught square F A over F T square. And for this one, D F C over D V is equal to K by 2 C T naught square F A over F T. Whole square this is by applying the relative principle. So we have combined mole balance, rate law, stoichiometry, and relative rate concept, and we have derived these three equations in the system. Now that C T naught is equal to P naught over R T naught. P naught is 1641, R was 8314, T naught 698 Kelvin. So accordingly, we get 0.286 mole per cubic decimeter or 0.286 millimole per cubic centimeter this is the value of ct naught now since you can see that there are multiple equations which are generating in the system so when using polymath or another ode solver ordinary differential equation solver one does not have to actually combine the mole balance weight law and psychometry as well as done in the combined step which was again previously done in chapter 5 the ode solver which is a polymath will do for you how it can do for us that first we need to enter the differential equations in polymath and the remaining equations which we have derived will be written in polymath and you can see we get the answer over here so this is the final solution that we can see the, the plot the flow rate plot actually which in part a of this question and accordingly the conversion is calculated which is although it was asked as 85 percent but it is approximately 84.5 so round off and we will get 85 percent but we will do this part of polymath in our upcoming lecture to see how these equations are written in the polymath and how we can proceed with it. So I hope you have understood all the aspects of this lecture. If you have any queries, feedback, suggestion, please provide it in the comment box and I would be happy to answer it. So that's it from today's lecture. Thank you so much. Please do watch, like, share the video and subscribe to the channel. Also click on the bell icon to get all updates related to this channel.
Till then, it's goodbye. Stay tuned for more exciting videos on this channel.